Welcome to Daily Strength. Joe Stoll here. Our text today is Philippians 3.1, where we read, Finally, my brothers, rejoice in the Lord. <laughs> so let's talk about a cause for rejoicing. Now, I'll never forget the Sunday morning that I was hanging out in the hall with a bunch of my cool junior high friends before Sunday school. Walking toward us was a visitor to our class wearing, get this, a chain of perfect attendance awards pinned to his shirt. <laughs> well, as he approached, our attitude about him was anything but sanctified. It was more like, oh, who does he think he is? And we immediately dismissed him as a legitimate candidate to make it into the in-group. Granted, not one of my finer moments, I must admit, but a good illustration of what happens when people walk around flaunting their accomplishments. The early church at Philippi had similar problems. In his letter to the Philippians, Paul spoke forcefully against the Judaizers in the church who were flaunting the fact that they kept the religious customs of the law, including circumcision. In their minds, they were like blue-ribbon Christians, and their self-righteous, holier-than-thou attitude was a source of conflict and division in the church. Paul's advice? Hey, stop rejoicing in your own accomplishments and start rejoicing in the Lord. When he commanded the Philippians to rejoice in the Lord, he wasn't calling for incessant glib expressions of praise Jesus. We're all just a little tired, aren't we, of people who walk around with 24-hour praise Jesus smiles on their face. He was calling for something deeper. It was a call to forsake our absorption with things that elevate ourselves and instead live in a way that makes Jesus the focus of our bragging rights. Uh, to illustrate the importance of this, Paul gave a personal testimony in verses 4 through 6. After listing his own impressive accomplishments, he said that he had learned to count it all, get this, loss because of the surpassing worth, as he said, of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. The lesson for us is that there are no blue-ribbon Christians, not really. There is no spiritual caste system that separates the high performers from the others. We all have one blue ribbon, and that's Jesus. So whatever it is in your life that you want to brag about, don't. As Jeremiah the prophet said in Jeremiah 9.24, let him who boasts, boast in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, justice, and righteousness in the earth. When we begin bragging about Jesus and his wonderful grace in our lives, we can replace the who does he think he is attitude with the desire to say, let me tell you who he is.